Okay, so let me get you a quick uh, overview of how to get this assignment started with, uh, with the UV maps and the checker material. Um, we're also going to discuss how to render your templates and also how to render your viewport uh, images, which I'm pretty sure you're familiar with. Uh, so that way we can see how the placement of the checkers are on the, on the material and on the surface and we can also see the material at work, okay? So let's get started with working with the UVs. Uh, Maya, if you create a polygon, if you started with a polygon, Maya will have, you know, you have the, the polygons over here, we'd have the UVs laid out nicely already set up for you. You look at the UV editor window over there, over here, you're going to notice that the UVs are fairly well laid out for primitives like this. It's when you have more complex geometry like a character or a vehicle or a sword or a weapon for a, for a game. That's when you start needing to, you know, move UVs a little bit more. But the basic layouts work well so far, so we'll just test them with the checker map to see how they work and we'll make any changes that we need to do, okay? Let's open this one. The sphere is the same. Let's go to the you know, the spheres there on the default area. Be aware of um, putting your UVs within this area over here. You notice that if you turn on and off the, the viewport uh, texture area, you're going to notice it only populates this section. So this, this is the default area. That's where you want to put your UVs for rendering a template. To put it on, uh, on Photoshop, anything outside that area is not going to be considered, okay? So, sphere is good, and let's take a look at the box, and the box is also, you have the six sides of the box laid out separate so that they don't overlap, so it seems to be well done already. Excellent. So, the next step will be to create a shader, and for the shader, we'll go to the hyper shade over here, or, win or through the Windows menu, Windows rendering, and uh, there's our hyper shade. <coughs> um, let's get, let's make a simple blend for to work with it, and let's call it checker material. Okay, for the color, and that's the co the attribute of the color. That's where we're going to um, apply the checker map that comes default with the software. So let's click here on that little checker connection, and uh, coincidentally, we click on the checker option. And that will apply a checker texture to our um, our color attribute, okay, for, for that. Let's first of all um, apply it to our objects on the scene. So you're going to middle mouse on the, on the object and drag it, or you can always select it and assign material to selection. Okay, select it, right click, assign material to selection, and select it, right click, assign material to selection. If you say, well, there's nothing happening here, it's because we need to uh, turn on the shader on the viewport, so shaded mode, texture mode is right here. Okay, so that way you see the textures on the objects that you're seeing on the scene. And looks like we applied it nicely. Uh, we now have a few things to address. Um, the purpose, the main purpose of applying a checker map to any geometry is to see the distribution of the UVs. Okay, and for that reason, we usually lower those the size of those squares to make it more dis better distributed around, uh, across the surface. To, the, to spot any distortion, okay? If the checker, um, the checker map is too big, the squares are too big, we don't have the capability of seeing in small areas of distortion that we might need to see. So let's repeat that 10, at least 10 times. So let's go to the color attribute with our, you know, our material selected over here. And then let's follow that connection now for there for the color, and let's go to the UV coordinates section, and let's repeat that 10 times. Let's tile those UV coordinates 10 times. So let's go on the repeat UV option, say 10, and 10. Make it the same so that you don't end up with stretching or squares on your UV. Um, let's take a look, and now you see that it looks more more.